Afternoon monkeys, John from Yorkshire Monkey. Right, another police officer been sacked. This is from the 24th of March, so this last Wednesday just gone. A police officer who was abusive and violent towards a former partner has been sacked for more gross misconduct. PC Amarjit Dalu, I think I've pronounced that right. I'm sure somebody will tell me if I haven't. Who worked with the vulnerable who worked with vulnerable children was dismissed from Kent Place following a hearing in which it was alleged he had strangled a woman. Who was referred to only as Miss A and hit her with a belt. Given evidence, the woman said Margit's fuse is extremely short. Dello was also caught up in a 999 phone call telling Miss A, I will smash your effing face in. Matthew Holcroft, who brought the case on behalf of the police force, said that this matter is a matter of national significance. There is extensive media concern about domestic violence and police officers. There has been physical and psychological harm to Miss A. After a disciplinary panel found against Darlow, Holcroft said he could not be operationally deployed, he could not be used in frontline proceedings, he could not continue in the role as he was working with vulnerable children. One can only imagine how a victim of domestic violence would feel if PC Dallow was the officer allocated to their claim. Dallow's dismissal comes as the spotlight turns on allegations of abuse of women by police. Last week there was anger after an off-duty West Midlands police officer, Oliver Banfield, was spared jail despite being convicted of attacking a woman while she was walking home alone. I've got that in one of my earlier videos, if you just go back. A camp police spokesman said steps were taken to ensure Miss A was protected from further harm um, and abuse after, sorry, after the abuse was first reported in 2019. The chair of Dallow's disciplinary hearing, Claire Fraser, said the panel concluding the breach of standards of professional behaviour has been proved to be so serious as to justify dismissal and thus amounts to gross misconduct. Public confidence in the service and upholding of its collective reputation would not be achieved by any other outcome. Well, at least I've made the right decision, but, you know, at the end of the day, the right checks aren't being made, are they? Okay, folks, let me know what you think down below, and we'll catch you soon. Most importantly, stay safe, everybody.